There's nothing I love more than making a pie, and to me, even more than turkey, deep dish apple pie is essential for Thanksgiving. It's something that you can't rush, which is, I think, one reason I like it. My pie dough is nice and cold. It was resting for a couple of hours. Start with one disc at a time, and roll out to about an eighth of an inch thickness. I go in with a rolling pin. I like to throw the flour. That's something a pastry chef showed me, to make a nice, even sprinkling. I will put this on a parchment-lined baking sheet, and I'll chill this in the fridge while I wait. Now, the other one. I will transfer this the same way I did the first one. I'm using Pink Lady Apples. I really like them for baking because they hold their shape really well, and they have good sweet tart balance. And how thin you want to slice is up to you. I like to go pretty thin, about an eighth of an inch. Now I'm going to add my sweetener and spices. So I'm just going to toss with my hands and the sugar is going to start to draw out some of the liquid from the apples and that's what I want. So I let these macerate at least one hour and up to three. One of the keys to this apple pie is that it has reduced unfiltered apple cider in it. It creates such like a deep apple flavor. I always put reduced apple cider in my apple pies. It's cooled off a little bit. This gets tossed in with the apples. And now it's time to assemble. I have a nine inch deep dish pie plate. I took these out of the fridge a few minutes ago. The most important thing here is to press it really firmly into the pie plate. I'm just gonna use a scissors to trim the edge a little bit. I want about a one inch overhang. Before I put the apples in, a quick egg wash around the sides. All of these go in, every last one. I'm not forgetting this time to dot the top with butter. And that melts as it bakes and just adds even more flavor to the pie. Here's our top crust. I drape this over top. I want to trim this smaller than the bottom crust, so there's about a half inch overhang. I'm just going to take the bottom crust and fold it over the top crust. And if you need to, you can give it a little extra egg to help it adhere. I use my thumb and my thumb and forefinger on the other hand and just go kind of the width of my thumb all the way around. Now, a final egg wash over the whole surface. This is Demerara sugar. One of the final steps is to cut slits in the pie. This will let steam escape and it helps those juices concentrate as it bakes. I have brown crust on the bottom. The apples are tender, they didn't fall apart. It's a beautiful deep dish apple pie. I hope this pie makes its way into your Thanksgiving repertoire. It will definitely be on my table.